Every day, Mateo Rodriguez takes three pills. One is for the Queen's resident's diabetes. Another is for his high blood pressure. The third, he started in May. But the point of it isn't to treat a condition he has like the other ones. I kind of felt like I wanted to take a pill that was my choice. And I wanted to take a pill that was doing something to protect me from something. The pill that the 25-year-old journalist takes is called Truvada. It's a combination of two drugs that have long been used to treat HIV infection. But Rodriguez isn't HIV positive. Instead, he takes the pill to stop himself from ever contracting the virus which causes AIDS. He's using Truvada for pre-exposure prophylaxis, protecting himself before exposure. The FDA only approved Truvada as a pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP, in 2012, after several studies showed its effectiveness. But the pill is already changing the fight against HIV and AIDS, even as it upends some old ideas. I think it's a total game changer. I would indicate PrEP for anybody that I felt was um, at ongoing risk for HIV. So that could be um, a gay man, that could be um, a, hetero, um, a heterosexual woman, that could be someone that's um, injecting drugs. So really it's across the spectrum. Urbina says that not nearly enough people know about PrEP. That despite PrEP being central to Governor Cuomo's recently announced plan to end HIV infections in New York by 2020. Studies from Truvada's manufacturers show that just under 2,000 prescriptions for the drug were filled for the purpose of preventing HIV in its first two years of availability. In the meantime, HIV infection rates have continued to rise. Among gay and bisexual men, they jumped 22% between 2008 and 2010. About one-third of those new infections occurred among black men. When young uh, gay men, in particular Hispanic and black men, we see that those rates continue to go up. So again, we point out that, you know, essentially we failed in terms of our, our actual prevention strategies and really reducing the number of new HIV infections. So let's start there. Doctors don't say that everyone in those categories needs to take PrEP, just those with a certain risk profile. Among them, those that may have a partner who is HIV positive or those who do not use condoms consistently. For some, the drugs carry side effects, including nausea, heart palpitations, and kidney problems. But people have also worried that Truvada might cause people to take bigger risks, like having sex without a condom. Now that we have PrEP, maybe people will engage in more sexual activity because they feel they have a backup. The first message is that PrEP protects you against HIV infection, but has no protection any, against any of the other sexually transmitted diseases, such as syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, uh, human papillomavirus, you are herpes, you are not protecting any of the other diseases. But some have expressed doubt about PrEP's efficacy as a national prevention strategy. One group recently even placed ads in newspapers in several states. The ads expressed concern that people will abandon condoms and fail to take the pill daily, worsening the HIV problem. Mainstream scientists have echoed concerns about adherence, but reject the group's claims about the drug's effectiveness and current condom usage. There are also concerns about Truvada's costs. It's about $1,400 per month if you're uninsured. That price may put it out of reach of lots of people who would benefit from it. We don't want that to be the case where PrEP is only available to those who are affluent, those who are white, those who are this, those who are that. We want to make PrEP available and accessible to all who need it. There is little data on who has been prescribed PrEP, and Gilead, the drug's manufacturer, didn't speak to us for this story. Activists, though, have been pushing to expand access for blacks, Latinos, the uninsured, women, and those whose doctors might resist the drug on principle. Events like the PrEP rallies put on by St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital, as well as the World AIDS Day rally at the Apollo Theater, have aimed to educate people about their options. For Rodriguez and many like him, these are valid concerns. But they say that one of the advantages of Truvada is that it allows us to be just a little bit less anxious about the consequences of sex. Decades after the start of the AIDS crisis, it may help those who are at high risk of HIV infection to regain intimacy and pleasure.
sex is supposed to be something that feels good and that like connects us and you release oxytocin afterwards and you like get that bond with someone and stuff like that like sex is supposed to feel really good and there's nothing wrong with um feeling pleasure and naming that you're someone who likes to feel pleasure i really don't see a problem with that for 219 west this is brian herbicidus reporting